I didn't see you in a pot, Billy. I said, sort yourself, Will. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Tattle rounds on my son. You bet. I don't know where you find them. All you have to do is look. Well, you don't seem to be in a rush. <laughs> no, I don't have to call for until uh, 2.30. Oh, I see. Don't want to appear to be too keen, eh, son? <laughs> Not just that, Will. If I get there before 2.30, I just might bump into a husband. Oh, you believe in living dangerously, don't you? <laughs> oh, look, it's Jody Shexer. Yeah, yeah. There must be an easier way of earning a living. Trouble, Dave? Yeah, well, they say it always runs in threes. What happened then? Well, number one was the Carters on Walton Close. They're looking after his parents' dog this week. A huge, ugly looking great day. The milkman's hazard. Wouldn't it let you in the gates? Yeah, yeah, let me in, all right. Trouble is, wouldn't let me out again. <laughs> There's only one way to deal with savage dogs. Be firm, let them know who is boss. Well, I think he already knew. Chased me around the garden three times. Yeah. <laughs> I only managed to get away by leaping over this fence of the Johnsons next door. And that led to trouble number two. I landed right on Mrs. Johnson's garden furniture. Completely ruined the deck chair. <clears throat> well, she wouldn't be too pleased about that. She wasn't. She was sitting in it. <laughs> <laughs> what was trouble number three? Mr. Johnson. He went raving mad. Came at me with a pair of long handled clippers. Oh, you should have jumped back and taken your chance with a great day. I did. Out of the frying pan, into the fire. <laughs> well, it might have been, Joseph, except for I remember something that Barbara Woodhouse once said. She said, she said, never let them see you're afraid. Just keep perfectly still. So I did. And did it work? Like a dream. In a few minutes, it stopped growling. I just stayed as still as a statue. It just walked around me, sniffing at my feet. Well, then what am? It peed over my shoes. <laughs> I call a man's best friend. Is that, uh, is that a good book, Billy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, it's all about, uh, Darwin's theory of evolution. That is a load of old rubbish. <laughs> well, he reckons we've all come from monkeys. It's never been proved. If we are descended from monkeys, where is the missing link, eh? Oh, there. <laughs> We were just talking about you, John. <clears throat> oh, uh, yeah, evolution. Oh, yeah, it's a lesson that. Pardon? <laughs> oh, no, Brunco. <laughs> that is elocution, you Scots. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, isn't it? Right, can I have your attention for a moment? Hey, attention, yeah. 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 attention, attention. Sit down. He's changed his mind. He wants to sit down. 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 Now listen, lads, the Egg Marketing Board have launched a nationwide campaign to sell more eggs. They want to double their sales. Has, has anyone thought of mentioning this to the hens? I mean, after all, they do have to produce the goods. <laughs> well, that's the trouble, you see. Our sales have fallen behind production at the moment. There is a glut. Now, the campaign is twofold. Firstly, you will get a commission of 5p on every pound's worth of eggs you sell. Uh, we, we don't sell eggs by the pound, Stan. How <laughs> sterling not avoir du poids. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now, the second part of the publicity campaign is a demonstration in the shopping precinct on Saturday. Oh, what? You mean with banners and everything? No, <laughs> not that kind of demonstration. Different ways of cooking with eggs. <laughs> and now we want a volunteer from one of you lot. Are you uh, trying to start an epidemic of food poisoning or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, we can boil an egg between us. <laughs> you don't have to do the cooking. They've got a young woman to do that. All you have to do is to hand out leaflets with recipes showing the various ways you can use eggs. Now, hands up, those of you who want to volunteer. <laughs> Come on, lads. It's a piece of cake. I'm on a diet. <laughs> You'll get a bonus. It's not worth it after the taxman taking his cut, man. We off. Nah, nah, nah. I never <laughs> volunteer for anything. You'll be working with a nice young lady. Sometimes I volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you seen her, Stanley? No. no. 
Well, it's just that your idea of a beautiful young lady and ours are totally different. Oh, come on, lad. I mean, surely there's one of you can help us out. It, it, it's for the honor and the glory of the depot. Billy. Yeah, all right. No, I'm, no, Sam, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jock. Well, I'll just have a double. <laughs> Please, Stan, she's here. Who's here? The bird who's doing the demonstration tomorrow. Oh, well, sure in, sure in. Can you come this way, please? Dog here. <laughs> Hello. Which one of you gentlemen is going to work with me on Saturday? I am! <laughs> oh, did you do that letter to Mr. Dawson? Sharon. Sharon! Oh, sorry, Stan. I was miles away. Well, get back here quick. <laughs> I got myself in terrible trouble. Oh, Flamberis. Who's the father? No. <laughs> it's not that kind of trouble. It's my love life. It's getting so complicated. Oh, well, why don't you tell me all about it? I mean, talk me over. Sometimes have to clear the air. Well, I met this bloke last weekend in Brighton, see? Oh, a holiday romance, eh? Marvin, that's his name. Keeps writing me letters. Oh, yes. Trouble is, Kevin's found him. Oh, dear. He's ever so jealous. Well, Kevin? No. Ah, Marvin. No, Paul. You see, he works <laughs> for Hang on, I'm getting a bit confused. Who is Paul jealous of, Kevin or Marvin? Jeff. Oh, I shouldn't have. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked. Won't leave me alone. Who won't, Kevin, Marvin, Paul or Jeff? Roger. Sharon. <laughs> I know there is safety in numbers, but this is ridiculous. Well, I don't encourage them. Well, if I were you, I would stick to one in future. Oh, thanks, Dan. You're so right. I just have to tell him it's all off. Except for one. Good. Just as a matter of curiosity, who's going to be the lucky one? Kevin, Marvin, Paul, Jeff, or Roger? Alan. <laughs> Alan? <laughs> oh, I give up. I've got enough problems on my own. Oh, well, you help me, Stan. Perhaps I can help you. Ah, oh, it's this egg marketing book promotion campaign. I can't make up my mind which of the staff to choose. Why don't you make a short list? I've already made one. It couldn't be shorter. There's only two names on it. <laughs> Joe Phillips and Dave Deacon. <laughs> That's Joe back yet. Yeah. yeah, he's in the storeroom. Right, where's his mug? I am going to make him a cup of tea. <laughs> You're not feeling well. Never felt better in my life, Billy. Especially <sighs> as I shall be the one working with that gorgeous Jenny tomorrow. Here, has Stan picked you? No, he won't have to because Joe's going to insist that I do it. Well, you're going to get him drunk. Nothing so crude, William. I'm going to use psychology. You mean you're going to hypnotise him? No, Billy. I'm going to put Joe into a situation where he'll be forced to insist that I get that job. How? Oh. By me insisting that he gets it. I'm still no wiser. Let me explain. Look. <clears throat> Supposing you and I are out having tea, right? Where? And... It doesn't matter where, Billy. We're just out having a cup of tea. Now. Now, um... Ever. Ah! <laughs> there is only one chocolate eclair, right? And I say to you, Billy, you have it. What do you say to me? No, you have it, Dave. You see, it's a natural human reaction. You insisted that I had that chocolate eclair automatically. No, I didn't. I don't like chocolate eclairs. <laughs> <laughs> but if you did like them, Billy, you'd still insist that I had it. It's psychological. No, if you say so. Look, how many times have you been in a pub, eh, and you've heard two fellas arguing? I'll get them, Charlie. No, I'll get them, Bert. No, 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 it's my shout. No, you got them last time. No, you got them last time. I'll insist that I'll get them. No, I'll insist that I get them. Psychological. Oh, very. <laughs> I hope it works. Well, it will. You hope what works? Ah, oh, Joseph, here you are. Come and sit down, man. I've made you a nice cup of tea. You've made me a cup of tea? Yes, I've milked it and sugared it. All you've got to do is drink it. The answer is no. <laughs> but I don't like chocolate eclairs either. <laughs> oh, I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> Walls have ears and open doors have bigger ones. You heard? Every word. <laughs> Excuse me, boys. Anytime, Sharon. Stan wants a word with you, Dave. Uh, what about? Search me. I've got a time. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, Div! Ah, John! <laughs> oh, somebody, give me a tool. 
My batteries went what? Oh. You forget to put it on charge again? No, I left it switched on when I was delivering milk in the King's Arms. What the hell long did that take? Oh, just over an hour. I was helping the landlord to empty a barrel of beer. Oh, he'd gone off with it? No, we were drinking it. <laughs> oh, Joe, Joe. I'm sorry, boy, I've got some bad news for you. That, um, that job tomorrow goes to Dave. What? Oh, but it was, it was my fault. I had no choice in the matter. He was the only one the outfit would fit. What, what outfit? Ah, oh, well, you have to wear a special outfit, you see. Now, no, I mean, it would have been too small for you. Here, what sort of outfit is it? Hey, oh, you'll see in a minute. Hey, are, are you ready, Dave? Uh, yes. Uh, come on in, boy. Let's have a look at you. Well, I, I, I don't uh, like to stand here. You see, I, I'm, I, I'm a bit shy. Ah, uh, don't be ridiculous. Come on in. Yeah, well, it's just, um... <laughs> so, as I said before, you put the sauce, which is tomatoes, onions, and green pepper, into the omelette before you turn it over. Then a couple of minutes on the sizzle there, and out it comes. There we are. Now, if you want to know how to make this delicious omelette provencal, please take one of our leaflets. Here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Where have you been? Thank you, I told you, I want to spend a penny. You've been gone for ages. Since you've been gone, I have made three omelettes, a souffle and a quiche Lorraine. Thank you, sir. Well, it's not easy getting this off and on, you know. <laughs> Give myself an injury with a zip. I barely nearly took the end off. Pardon? Oh, don't you dare. It's only my finger. Well, never mind, I don't want to see it. Oh. Please, go on. <coughs> Clack. <laughs> Clack. Clack. Oh, Clack! <laughs> You're not very good at it, are you? You're supposed to be a hen. What do you want me to do? Lay an egg? <laughs> you could cluck a bit better. Oh, cluck a bit better. <laughs> right, I'll give you a good cluck, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Just as well. That's my throat. Well, now you're back. I'm going for a cup of tea. Right. Carry on clucking. Well, well, Billy, look who's there. This big bird. <laughs> All right, you've had a good laugh. Now push off. What do you know? A talking hen. <laughs> You on the nose in a minute. <laughs> what are you two doing here anyway? Uh, Billy and I are going under town. Yeah, there's a big darts match at the Red Lion. But we just thought we'd come and see how you're getting on. <laughs> well, you've seen. Now push off. Uh, we brought you a present, Dave. Oh, what is it? <laughs> a packet of stuffing. <laughs> 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 You look lovely roasted with chips. <laughs> right? That is it. That is it. You have our friend. <laughs> have a kiss of the rain. <laughs> Am I glad that's over? Me too. Hello. Oh, no! What is it? The door's locked. Oh, my clothes are in there. So am I. What time will it be open again? Not until four o'clock in the morning. Well, we can't hang about here until then. Oh, if I flap my wings, I could fly over the top. Stand back. It's no use. I can't do it. Well, can't you climb over? Not with all that barbed wire stuff at the top, I'd ruin myself for life. If I could just get to a phone, I could ring Stan at home. What's wrong with this one? No, uh, no, that's been out of order for six months. Well, you must come back to my place. You can read from there. All right. It's a good job I kept my handbag. Yeah, you uh, don't mind if I drive, do you? I'm a bit uh, nervous of women drivers. Why? I'm a uh, chicken. Cluck <laughs> 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 clip. 
every trip. <laughs> out of that skin, eh? Did you get through to Stan? Ah, no, he wasn't there. I left a message with his wife. Isn't, isn't there anybody else you could ring? Well, there's no point, you see, because he's the only one with a key. Well, you can't stay here until four o'clock in the morning. What was that? Follow me, darling. Oh, my God, it's Harry. Who's Harry? My boyfriend. Hello there, darling. Just a minute, darling. I can find us like this. Well, why not? It's perfectly innocent. Does it look perfectly innocent? <laughs> He'd never believe us. Neither would I. And he's terribly jealous. He would be. <laughs> I suppose you're going to tell me he's an ex-boxer. No. Thank goodness for that. An ex-wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> you better hide. Under the bed. Under the bed. You can't hide under the bed. Why not? Is there somebody already there? <laughs> Get in here. Darling. Who are you talking to? Talking to? I heard voices. Oh, oh it's probably the radio. <laughs> There's nobody here. Yeah. There better hadn't be. Oh. What was that? It's, it's what? I heard a noise. Um, oh, it's probably a mouse. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Harry, Harry, I can explain. Don't bother. All right, come on out. <laughs> Who are you? I'm, uh, I'm Linda. I'm, uh, I'm an old friend of Gemma Pov. Oh, yes, she's an old friend of mine. Mm. What's she doing in the wardrobe? I was, um, I I've just had a shower, and I didn't want you to see me in the hall together. <laughs> Bea, darling, Harry, answer the phone. It's Bea, darling, Harold. <laughs> Oh, he's looking well, isn't he? <laughs> My best wig you're wearing. What's this? This, 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 this a plastic bag. I, I, I know. <laughs> you better go. Oh, yes. could, you, uh, could, could you lend me a quit, please? What for? Well, for me bus ride home. Yeah. I'll give it back to you tomorrow when I bring back all this stuff, all right? <laughs> Hello, Harry. Do you know somebody called Dave? Dave? Dave. Dave? Somebody called Stan just rang up and asked for Dave. I don't know any Dave. Yeah, nor do I. Must be, must be a wrong number. <laughs> yeah, that's what I told him. Yes, well, you would. <laughs> You're so put. <laughs> <laughs> well, bye bye, Harry. I've got to go. Bye. Don't go. Goodbye, Dave. Dave? <laughs> <laughs> a good night, Billy. Pardon? A good night. Oh, good night. I'll see you tomorrow, Joe. We're not going home yet. Yeah, I am. I'm going to get the bus. The Caribbean club's still open, man. Yeah, but I I've had enough. Oh, <laughs> bye. Oh, I'm, Ow! Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, I wonder if you, uh... Right there. What you reckon? Yeah. Good luck.
lovely night for it. Yeah. Yeah, haven't I seen you somewhere before? Um, no, I don't believe we have. You're a lovely girl. Give me some personal. No, no. You just said I, uh, think I fancy you. <laughs> Get away! You make a big mistake! No, I'm not. I bet you're a little raven. <laughs> Go one step further. I'll get the shock of your life. <laughs> Give us a kiss. Go away! Come yeah. on, trust me. No, will you, will you please leave Give us a kiss. No, I'm getting a stab! Oh! oh. oh. feathered friend this morning? Never again. Did you enjoy it? No, I did not. Thank goodness it was just for one day. <laughs> morning. Oh, hi, Billy. How did you get on last night? Oh, what? You mean with that bird? Yeah. Ah, oh, she was, uh, fantastic. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. She was all over me like a rash. Would you believe it? I don't. <clears throat> <laughs> You're excused duties again this week, aren't you, Joe? You're on parade again in the precinct. Oh, no, 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 not me. There must be some mistake, Stanley. You said it was just for one day. Ah, that was for the egg marketing board. Oh, I see. So I don't have to get dressed up as a chicken again, then. Oh, no, nothing like that. Mm -hmm. This is for the milk marketing board. Oh, good. <clears throat> <laughs> Take the head off. It spoils the illusion. Tell that to Joseph at the back. <laughs> now he keeps pinching my bum. <laughs> record of the theme music from Bottle Boys is now available from all good record shops. Bottle Boys!